Hi everybody, this is Leela. I'm back with an album I've been working on. And I got this idea from Shelly Geigel on JNS Hobbies and Crafts. She has a great tutorial on this. Um, hers is an 8 by 8 album, but I needed something a little bigger, so I kind of, I followed her design, but kind of did my own thing too. Mine is 9 by 11, and it has a 3 inch spine, and it's quite heavy. I'll show you the, the back of it, it's kind of plain. She has a she made a different closure on hers, but I wanted a satin ribbon. So I took a oh this is probably about an inch and a half ribbon and ran it all the way around it. And um, the papers I used in this is from Paper Studios. I love this paper. I think it's awesome for a wedding album. And also I used this paper from Paper Studios. I didn't use it. This is just, I just used the touches of it. I just wanted it white and silver. Mainly white. And um, on the front, um, memory box butterfly dies. And uh, a Prima frame, some recollection flowers, and some flowers I got from Michael's at, in the wedding section. And I made my own little stick pin. Um, I added some flat back pearls and some bling on a string and some more flat back pearls. And I got these from the wedding section at Michael's. The little sprigs and I added some ribbon and on the side this is a Tim Holtz um, little ornate frame and it just runs back it, this is a quite heavy album actually okay so go inside so it opens up, and in here I have um, some frames from Spellbinders that I just cut out with cardstock and um, used silver um, ink to bring out a little bit of it. And I got these um, die cuts from Shelly's shop. But I'm not really sure. I think it's Paper House. And then I added some rosette trim here and a lace closure. And then this opens up. And you can put a 5x7 picture there. And the picture slides under. And then in the tutorial Shelly has, she shows you how to make different um, inserts for um, photos, little booklets. And I embossed this, then added some, I had some, in my stash I had some glitter paper that I cut strips. And then it just opens up for more photos. And then I, this is a Heartfelt Creations die. I really like these dies. They're nice. They're heavy. And then this slips out. And you can add another 5x7 photo here. Another memory box butterfly that I added some bling to. And then here's another insert I made. I embossed this, added a ribbon. Quite simple. And then it opens up where you can add more photos. And 
and it just ties back shut. And the these pockets will hold m more photos. They're quite. You can get quite a few in there. And then this just folds back up and ties shut. And then two more photo mats. And these are from Spellbinders. Romantic rectangles. And then I just put um, some more designer paper inside. And then it folds this way. And this is some tr lace that I got at Walmart that had some sequence on it. I thought it was pretty. And then this metal, these two metal hearts I got at Walmart in the wedding section. And my the scrap paper that I had wasn't quite big enough, so I cut a piece of this white designer paper and ran it through there and made it kind of look like a belt buckle. I thought it kind of turned out. And this is magnetized. This is a Martha Stewart butterfly punch that I added some um, little flat back pearls to. And on these flaps you can add um, more pictures on the upper and the bottom. And one big size photo or a couple. And this flips out and I made some tags that she can put photos on or journal. This paper right here is not part of the collection. I got this at Hobby Lobby in their um, single sheets. I like that. And then in the tutorial, Shelly shows how to make a wedding dress. This is mine. And then I made another tag that she could add more photos on. And this little tag goes under there. And she can journal on that. And then I just took a little wedding dress and hooked it on a hanger. I thought that was cute. The, and then this all slips back under there. This will shut. Then over here more about the bride. And I made these um, photo cards. I'm learning how to, to layer on these photo cards. And of course Pictures can fit under there. This shiny um, cardstock that I got, I got it at Walmart. They have over by their cardstock. They have this metallic um, cardstock I liked. I thought it looked good in here. And it flips out and here's the grooms. And I made a little tag for the groom. And then a photo card. And of course a photo can fit under there. Just slides right back in there. And then the groom's family. This is a um, Tim Holtz Thinlet dies. I had more bring up bling on that. And then flips. Another photo card that they can journal on. I made this banner myself. And more pictures. Then on this side, there's another tag. I think this is my favorite tag that I made. And 
This is um, a wedding stamp that I got at um, Joann's. I don't. I think it's Friskers. It comes in like a big sheet of different wedding sayings, like that. And this flips out. And another wedding card for photos. And then here's, this is a Jolie's um, wedding cake. I like that better than it was in the, the paper house. It does come with one. And then this is, I embossed this cardstock and then just added some different size photos, cards. This slips in there. Lots of room for more photos. And onto this page, and this die is um, another Spellbinders. Let's see, the name of this is Timeless Rectangles. I really like this, and this is also what I made. These was the Timeless dies. Um, I added a metal butterfly here. And these are some metal letters or numbers that I got at Hobby Lobby. They are the Paper Studio brand. And they were bronze. I believe they were bronze. And I just painted them silver. So it turned out I want it to match. And then Jolene's Bling. And in this pocket I made another insert. And this paper is not from the collection either. This is a single sheet that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this, this is magnetized and it opens up for some more photos. And it just slips in there. More room for lots of more photos. And then this opens and this has two flips and I thought this would be a nice spot for them to add a photo of them together. And this is a wooden piece that I painted and um, glossy accents for that. And then this just has some tags that I made. A place for a nice fo size photo of them, their wedding party. And then this flips out for three more photos and a couple more photos. And it flips that. And something Shelly didn't do on the back cover, she did something different. I made an envelope because I thought it would be nice for them to add extra photos or their marriage license in there. And it's quite deep. It's quite wide. It had quite a bit in there. And it's... I'm magnetized it shut. So that's my wedding album that I made for my co-worker. I hope she likes it because it took me forever. I don't know how everybody does makes their albums like in a day. Not me. It takes me forever. But thank you and let me know what you think. Talk to you later.